Okay, so I'm filming now. I want um, to do a video. Now, what I want to say in this video is they keep saying that they wanted to create something. They said that they thought I was one of the kids that had this happen. And what I'm saying is something about that doesn't make sense. I'm trying to figure out how this group went from trying to stalk, harass me, to hitting me in the head and physically abusing me, to now saying that I was one of a group of kids that's part of something. It just feels like they keep coming up with excuses. So they said, we want to make you feel bad for having your privacy violated. So it's like, again, it's, it's as though they, they needed a, a way to cover up the cover up. So part of what they said was, oh, when you were on your Fashion Fun Femme account, now it's my Fashion Fun Femme account. You notice how it went from they wanted credit for it to now it's mine. You stepped on a lot of big people's toes. So what? I don't care. Why do they care? So I'm saying like, you know, why is it that they care so much? And they said, oh, this is how they had to cover up not you're spending money on something. I don't know what they spent money on. And they needed this to be the, the excuse for doing it. But that doesn't make sense either. So as I'm doing this, they said they go back to my previous videos. Like there are probably close to a thousand videos now. And they go back to the previous videos to figure it out. It seems like somebody spent so much money on this. And there has to be a money trail. That's part of what I was saying in Fashion Fun Femme. Always follow the money. When you want to know what something's really about, you follow the money. You figure out, okay, somebody's spending money. Who are they? How are they spending it? Who are they spending it on? And why? They're not spending it on me. It's not being spent on me. But somebody invested in this. And they're upset, they said, because this, the, their investment, I guess they didn't get what they invested in. It doesn't make sense. So I'm going to title this video, Follow the Money. Because the more I research this, and the more it's foreign money, it's not American money, the more I'm curious to know, what was the point? They said they wanted me to, um, they thought I was gonna move to Paris. Why would I have moved to Paris? I mean, you know, it's like, it's probably part of the fantasy they created where they just like, we're gonna, you know, you're gonna move to Paris. Then I'm gonna move here. Always out of the country. That doesn't make sense. Why would the United States government have me move out of the country if they invested all this money in me? You get what I'm saying? So let me step aside so people can pass. So yeah, it doesn't make sense that somebody who claims it's the United States government would try to move me to another country. That just sounds more insane. So again, you always follow the money in these situations. Who, who has the most to gain by doing this? It's not the US government, think about it. The US government had access to me for 49 years. Suddenly they're gonna find a bunch of people from other countries and recommend I move to another country? What kind of United States government does that? If the United States government wanted to surveil me 24 seven, they could, there are cameras available and it wouldn't have to go long distance and they wouldn't have to find some surveillance means i mean come on it's just so it's so stupid i mean i went to school like i said i'm from the bronx i spent 29 years in the united states why suddenly is everything so foreign it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make sense that suddenly it, it seems too sudden the other part of that is that they said they speak in another language. Why would somebody from the United States speak in another language to someone who's American? 
you know, it's just too, it, it, it's just too bizarre. So they say, well, maybe they don't want the American speaker to understand what someone in the United States is saying. Then, again, that doesn't make any sense. That, that's even less logical. If I'm in the United States and I don't want someone to understand what I'm saying, I won't say it to them or around them. That's the whole point. Why would you even involve somebody whose native language is English in a conversation then? Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm now going to do the logic. You know, one of the things I like about doing these videos is I get to say to you folks, their bad ideas. I'm, I'm doing their bad idea series, but I'm doing a illogical series. So it's, it's too illogical. If the United States government is doing this and they don't want me to understand what they're saying in English, then they don't want to say it to me and they want to say it around me. They could cut it off. So we're getting to the point. I think the reason they speak in another language around me is because that could be the only language they speak. So they don't speak English. So that, so this is part of the logic of this. The other point I wanted to make is that in school, I told you guys, you know, I went to St. Angelo Marici, St. Helena's in Parkchester, Cardinal Spellman, and Fordham University. And one of the requirements we had, we had the requirement we must be able to present in front of a classroom. So you, we always had to do some sort of a presentation. It was required. We had to read, you know, if I sat down in class and I didn't have my textbook to read from, I would get in trouble. You had to have your textbook. If you didn't have it, you couldn't get out of reading. They would just give you a textbook to read from. That was part of our requirement. So we had to be able to speak publicly, which is reading in public, is speaking, public speaking. We had to understand the basics of being able to have logic. We had to be able to present a topic and support or the, the topic or debate the topic, not support the topic. So these were required things. This, I didn't have the option and we went to school. We didn't have the option of like leaving school and then coming back and you know, it was strict. I think it was strict because it had to be strict but also because our parents required it. Like our parents, wanted to make sure we had a good education. So if the school didn't require those things, our parents could get upset. So what they're trying to say now, after the fact, you know, we're talking, it's hard because we're talking about things decades after the fact. And it's like, you know, you can't argue something that happened decades ago because life was different decades ago. Today, things, the standards are different. So when I'm talking to you and I'm telling you these things, we're talking about decades ago. So my bus is coming. I'm going to end this video, but I'll let you guys hear some things on the bus. I'll do another video later.